With the first pick in the NBA draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select, 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 select. We don't have a no-brainer, clear-cut number one pick. But we're going to go with LaMelo Ball at number one here. Perk said it. This kid is box office. He's six foot seven. He has tremendous size. He's a wizard with the basketball as a ball handler. He's electric in the open court. And he has that type of showtime flair that we've seen from a Trey Young. Now, he's still improving as a perimeter shooter, his decision-making, his defense. But he would really give the Minnesota Timberwolves one of the most skilled under 25 big three in the NBA when you talk about him, D'Angelo Russell, and Carl Anthony Towns. But we're going to go with James Wiseman, the center out of Memphis. If you were building a center in a lab, this is exactly what he would look like. He's almost seven foot one, seven five wingspan, nine foot six standing reach. He runs the floor like a wing, and you could really see him be kind of that Lob City DeAndre Jordan for the Warriors, okay? When you're talking about playing alongside Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, just keep it simple, run the floor, protect the rim, and then you have a guy who can help you right now and then also has some upside to grow into moving forward. Anthony Edwards to the Charlotte Hornets at number three. And we're talking about this is a number one type of talent, okay? Six foot five, 230 pounds, 6'10 wingspan, can score it from anywhere on the floor. He can get downhill explosively with power. He can pull up, stop on a dime. He has step backs. He has all different NBA caliber dribble moves that allow him to get buckets. And that's going to translate to the next level. So Charlotte gets a bona fide star here. A guy they could hand the keys to and say, be our number one scorer. The Bulls are going to select Denny Avdia, six foot ten combo forward out of Israel, played for Maccabi Tel Aviv, Serbian, Israeli, has great size, great positional length, and this is a guy who can shift really anywhere from one to four on both ends of the floor. He's tremendous in transition, and he's going to give them a guy who can step in as a starter right away. Already has a hundred pro games of experience. Eight, the New York Knicks going to get their point guard of the future in Tyrese Halliburton. He does everything on the floor, analytics model have had him as a number one or number two pick all season long. He can really shoot it. He has great size, and he's a perfect fit next to R.J. Barrett. And then at number nine, the Washington Wizards get their rim protector of the future, and that's Onyeka Okongwu, the best shot blocker in the entire draft. Doesn't need the ball offensively to be effective. And defensively reminds you a little bit of Bam out of Bayou. And then Cole Anthony out of North Carolina, big-time scorer, would give the Nets some depth in the backcourt. The Houston Rockets select Yao Ming from Shanghai, China, and the Shanghai Sharks. The Cleveland Cavaliers select LeBron James. The New Orleans Hornets select Anthony Davis. With the seventh pick in the 2009 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select Stephen Curry from Davidson College. Pick Michael Jordan of the University of North Carolina. With the first pick in the 1998 NBA Draft, the Los Angeles Clippers select Michael Oluwakandi from University of Pacific. With the first pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Anthony Bennett Whoa. of Toronto, Canada and the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Now the second choice, owned by the Portland Trailblazers. Let's go to the commissioner, David Stern. Portland selects Sam Bowie, University of Kentucky. The San Antonio Spurs select Emmanuel 
Gino Billy from Argentina.